Carp fishing can sometimes feel like an expensive hobby, especially when you want to introduce quite a lot of bait. Some waters require pre-baiting or large quantities of bait, and bait can be expensive. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can use particles to make your fishing cheaper, and by preparing them yourself, cut costs, but still catch loads of carp. Of course, there are a wide range of different particle baits that will work for carp. However, my favorite three are hemp seed, uh, maize, and tiger nuts. All three of these baits are readily available from most farm shops, but you can also get them online. Uh, shopping around will be able to get you dry particle very, very cheaply indeed. Hemp is a relatively small, dark colored seed, which is a great addition to any spod mix or pre-bait mix. Reason being is because the particles are quite small, they'll sink into the silt and in amongst the substrate on the bottom, and the fish will grub around and try to basically dig around until they've found every last seed. The only problems with hemp is it can be uh, also consumed by roach, tench, bream, that sort of thing. The other bait which we really like is the maize. Uh, maize is quite high vis, it's you know, bright yellow, and we found maize to be quite instantly recognized by fish. So what I mean by that is even on waters that have never seen bait, you know, places that just haven't been fished very much at all, the carp very quickly recognized that that is edible. Don't know whether it's just the color or the fact it gives off some kind of attractant, but Whereas boilies will sometimes sit on the bottom of, of a lake for a long period of time before the carp even realise what they are and that they can eat them, maize is uh, an instantly recognisable bait that we've used to great success, particularly over in America where, you know, those fish aren't being fished for very much, but they instantly recognise maize and get on it. The other thing with maize is that, again, it can also be eaten by bream. Uh, bream actually really like it, so if there's a lot of bream in the water that you're fishing, then you might want to consider using tiger nuts. Tiger nuts are larger, really quite firm, uh, crunchy uh, nuts, which you can prepare just like the others, which we'll cover in a minute, but the tiger nuts tend to be quite good at avoiding the attentions of bream. You could use a couple of them on a hair rig, though they just won't be pecked off by small fish, and you probably won't catch very many bream on tiger nuts. The reason you need to prepare the particles as opposed to just using them dry from the bag is because when the carp consume the bait it can cause them uh, quite severe problems in, the, in their digestive system if those baits haven't been properly soaked and boiled. Uh, the dry raw bait can expand within the carp's di digestive uh, tract and that can cause them problems and even kill them. The other thing is that once you've prepared the particles, they release a lot of their attractants, their smells, their natural oils. So you really want to prepare them properly before you go fishing. To prepare your bait properly, just put it in a bucket, cover it with water and leave it to soak for around 24 hours. This is to ensure that the water permeates right into uh, the particles. At this stage, you can actually add some sugar or some salt to your bait. This will uh, dissolve into the water and it'll be absorbed by the bait and just add a little bit more attraction to your bait once it's in the water. One thing I'll say is that if you're boiling up uh, hemp seed, don't add any salt to that before you uh, boil it uh, or before you soak it uh, because the, it can actually cause some problems with the uh, seeds not splitting. Anyway. Once your baits have been uh, soaking for 24 hours, then you can put them in a saucepan in, and in your kitchen on a gas stove, you can just start boiling them. I would definitely advise switching on your extractor fan uh, because after a while it can get a little bit smelly. Boiling should take approximately 40 minutes just to be on the safe side. However, if you are boiling hemp seed and you start seeing the actual seeds splitting and revealing the white that shoot inside, then you know that your, your hemp's pretty much ready to go. With the other baits like maize and uh, tiger nuts, what you're looking for is just being able to sort of bite that uh, nut or grain open and see that it has properly, properly absorbed that water and it's not dry on the inside. That's what you're trying to avoid, is a dry, uh, hard bait. Once you've boiled your baits for around 40 minutes, then you can just drain off the water, take your bait and you're ready to go. However, the water that you've actually boiled your particles in, particularly hemp seed, can be full of natural oils and can be a, a very a good attractant for fish in itself. Sometimes we will actually take the water that we've used whilst boiling our hemp and actually use that to mix in with ground bait or in a spod mix or something, just because you're better off using it than wasting it and it can really be a great attractant to fish. 
Finally, before you actually go fishing with your bait, you can add, if you'd like, some uh, syrup or glug. Uh, these sort of are specifically designed for you know, adding to particles or spod mixes. And yeah, it's not something that you have to do, but I'd say if you're fishing somewhere with lots of other people fishing and you need your bait to really stand out, or you're fishing in quite murky water where the fish aren't gonna be able to find it so easily by sight, adding glugs and attractants uh, can definitely help the fish find your bait quicker. With our particles, we like to use them to sort of bulk out our boily or pellet mixes. So uh, on a recent campaign on our local river, we wanted to introduce quite a lot of boily, but we also wanted to bulk that out. Boily can be expensive. The other thing with uh, the particles is that particularly smaller particles like the hemp can keep fish grubbing around looking for food long after the boilies have actually been eaten. What we found is that if you make a mix of different sizes of particles, a bit of boilie, a bit of pellet as well, fish will actually dig for that food long after the majority of that bait is gone. And what you end up with is the bottom of the swim that you're fishing cleaned out. If there's low lying weeds or soft silt, then after a few weeks of pre-baiting, you know, chucking in a few handfuls of bait every, every couple of days on the lead up to your session, they can actually clear the bottom out and you'll cast in with your rig and it will crack down firmly and you'll know that the fish have cleared out that area and disturbed, you know, all the debris on the bottom. That's when you know you're ready to go down there, put the rigs out and you'll probably catch. One thing I will say before the end of this video is that particle fishing on somewhere with lots of bream can be a bit of a problem. Uh, bream are uh, a lovely fish to catch if you're targeting them. However, if you're after carp and you're pre-baiting, the mix that I would advise to avoid bream is actually just 50-50 boilies, nice large boilies if you can find some, like 20 mil, for example, mixed in with a load of tiger nuts. I'm not sure what it is about tiger nuts. Bream just don't seem to like them as much as they do other particle baits. So if you want to avoid the bream and catch carp, try a, a mix of 20 mil boilies and tiger nuts. A tiger nut or a snowman rig or something quite big on your hair rig will do, uh, will do just fine. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you with preparing your particles. And definitely check out one of the videos on screen now uh, for examples of rigs, baits and tactics to use for your carp fishing. Thanks and we'll see you next time.